Good morning, you guys, from Victoria Homes here in Kuala Lumpur. This is our very last day here. We're heading out tonight at 9 p.m. We have a four-hour flight to Manila in the Philippines with a four-hour layover and then another four-hour flight to Japan. And this is all overnight. I don't know how much sleep I'm gonna be getting, which is the sad part because I'm so tired. You can see back there, we had like a going away party last night. It was fun, but uh, I'm just lacking sleep. And uh, today we're just hanging out here in uh, Victoria Homes, catching up on some editing before we head out to the airport later tonight. Really not much going on today, but this vlog is gonna be combined with tomorrow as well as we arrive in Tokyo, Japan. I take a nap for two seconds and these guys come back with different haircuts. Look at this. His, his blonde hair is gone and John got a haircut too. Yeah. What happened in the time that I was sleeping? Where did you go? I just um, didn't go Super Saiyan anymore. I see, I yeah. see. You've lost it. I lost it. Uber's here? All right, we're I'm getting really tired of vlogging airports. It's just like I'm in a new airport every other week, basically. And it's the same thing. So we're getting on the plane now and we're heading four hours to uh, Manila, which is in the Philippines. And many hours later, we have made it to Japan. We are finally here. We are in the uh, train station right now. We're actually trying to get a train. We were gonna get an Uber, but they said it was $270 to get to our hotel. So instead we're paying $10 for a train out of the uh, airport here. We're wait just waiting for it now. Um, luckily there's a lot of stuff in English, so it's pretty easy to get around so far. Uh, we haven't gone very far, but so far, it seems pretty great. Tokyo! Whoa. It is so cold here. It's such a massive temperature change from Malaysia to where we are right now. Everyone's wearing like shorts and t-shirts. It's freezing. <laughs> and raining. We're gonna go try and find our uh, Airbnb right now. I'm trying to figure out the address. <clears throat> I think I'm losing my voice for some reason. Not only is it raining out today, but it is also six Celsius. So it's a little colder than we just came from. And uh, we're ready to just get inside the Airbnb, take a shower, and kind of walk around Tokyo and experience it for this for the first time. I thought you've been to Japan before, Josh. Dude, I did, my bad. You didn't even take off the shoes. I was just excited to see the room. That's All right. This is it. This is dope, guys. This is our sick new crash pad the for the week. The crash pad. For the week. Oh, wow. It's like we're back in college. This is where we're staying. College boys. College. I get top. There's like a whole studio. Right. All I'm going to get this one. This is really right here. Cool. Bye guys. <laughs> you ready, John? Let's do this. If John and I have come out here. It's really like not the right time. We got a huge umbrella. We're walking around in the rain. Just because we haven't seen anything before. We've never been to Tokyo. Josh and Steve have. So we figured why not just walk around by ourselves. Just even if it is in the rain. Yeah. <laughs> it's our first time here. Why yeah, not? Yeah, yeah. I was using Google Maps for my Airbnb to try and figure out how to get to the shop. And I think I got to it. The only thing is the name on my app is in English and none of the signs here are in English. So I can't tell if this is it, but I think this is the ramen shop we were trying to find. I think, I hope. We're gonna go see. This is a good reason why they don't understand where we are. Oh yeah, this is totally it. This is it. Wait, this is it? Ichiran, yeah. Ichiran, oh snap. We what found it. Incidents. Found it. Oh, thank you. Do we really order right here? Yeah. So you press this? I think this is how we order. What? We're figuring out this together. Holy crap. Oh, look, the system guy. How to purchase your meal tickets. Ah. Oh. Yo. So what you do is you insert the bills and coins here, press the ramen button, and then you choose your toppings and all of that you want from the ramen. I've never seen something like this before. Okay, all right, let's try it. All right, all right, I'll let you go first. So we're buying ramen from a vending machine here. Um, I just put in, wait, I just put in 10,000. Well, you did put in 10,000. Yeah, okay. Put, put the 5,000 away. Yeah, <laughs> holy crap. Okay. Put in your pocket. So I'm gonna get one of these. 
which is, no, I'm just regular ramen. And then I'm gonna get um, rice with it. And then I'm gonna get uh, orange juice. Um, and extra sliced pork. And I think that's it. I think, look at I have like three or four tickets now. Three or four tickets. And I think we go to the counter now with these. I'm ready every day. Look. You gotta be Let's grab a counter. We literally have a counter. This is for so ourselves. sick. It's like filling out a test in school. You have to you have to fill out the preferences that you want, and then you order it through this little hole right here. Hello? <laughs> See how these are single stalls? Yeah. I think we're supposed to be quiet. Oh. I think we have to be quiet. It's like it's like quiet in here other than us. Everyone else is quiet. <laughs> oh, this is... Oh. John, what do you think about our first ramen experience? Okay, I have to say is that we need to open up our own ramen shop because that was just so good. <laughs> and an authentic one. Authentic. Like, like yeah. I'm talking like the most authentic things can get. Yeah, exactly. We need the counters, like, like quiet little stalls and stuff like that. Quiet little stalls, just yeah. not with us there because we would talk. Yeah, we, we talk. We're too, too loud. Yeah, but yeah. We're gonna we're gonna go head out and see what else is around here. So John and I are just walking around the market here at night. Uh, as it gets later, the, the place just becomes cooler. The lights are more vibrant and it just looks a lot cooler at night, I think. And uh, so we're just walking around kind of waiting till it gets completely dark to get the best pictures and head home. Well, we've already had ramen, we've already seen some cool stuff around here in Japan. And this is just our first day not knowing anything and just walking around. We've just stumbled upon what looks like our first temple. It looks like a temple. We're gonna find out. Yeah. It looks pretty cool. So these are the sakura trees, or sakura trees. Sa sakura. Sakura. <laughs> sakura trees. Sakura. And uh, these are basically cherry blossoms, which is part of the reason why we came here, was to see these cherry blossoms in bloom, and they're just starting this month. So the whole time that we're gonna be here, we're gonna be witnessing beautiful, beautiful spots like this. You have three wishes. So it's not, probably not a temple, it's just a cool, I don't know, a cool place. All right, and we are back at the crib. Josh and John have gone off to the arcade. I'm gonna stay here and I'm gonna edit and work on this vlog actually. Um, tomorrow is gonna be our first full day in Japan. Hopefully, we're gonna get the whole squad out in Japan. Hopefully it won't be raining as much anymore. There's a lot of hopefullys going on in this town. But uh, I wanna give a notification shout out to Maddie Travels. Thank you, Maddie, for having my notifications on. I'm glad these videos have helped you out as well. And uh, if you'd like a shout out, just click that little bell button down below and uh, comment notification squad when you're done. That is it for today. Tomorrow is gonna be a much funner, fuller day here in Japan, and I will see you guys then.